What's up guys and welcome back to another video. So what is a water hammer rester and how does it work? At first view, a water hammer rester is basically a soldered, threaded, crimped or pressed device that dampens hydraulic shocks in a system such as in domestic water or gas installations. But where exactly do these so-called shocks come from? In a home for example, they either come from fast-closing solenoid valves which could be found in washing machines, toilets and refrigerators, or just from a user that shuts off a faucet really quickly. These fast-closing valves do exactly as they say. They shut off real quickly. So just imagine what this does. An object or liquid flowing in a particular direction at a certain speed that is suddenly halted. It either has two choices. One is to absorb the impact like we could see here in this car. Ouch. Or two is to redirect itself in the opposite direction like this tennis ball. The analogy here is to show that some objects and liquids are compressible and some are not. In this case, we aren't talking about a car, but rather about water. And water itself is not compressible which means it would bounce right back in the other direction when a valve would close and create these audible shocks or pressure surges. This abrupt change in velocity causes a rise in pressure which needs to be relieved somehow. Back in the days, plumbers used the air chamber method to solve this issue which consisted of a capped standpipe near the fixture in question that would be filled with air and cushion any surges from it being closed quickly. The problem with this idea is that it would work for a few weeks, but then the chamber's air would get absorbed by the water and eventually be rendered useless because nothing was there to separate the air from the water. Without any shock absorption device, these surges would cause rattling in the walls and eventually weaken the joints enough to cause leaks, so it's imperative to have some sort of protection. This is where these come into play. These engineered hammer arresters are specifically designed to seal the air chamber from the water thanks to the two sealing o-rings on the polypropylene piston. So when the valve is closed abruptly, the shock is absorbed by the arrester and the excess energy is quickly depleted in the lines, making for a very silent and non-damaging operation. These devices also address another very important issue. If we go back to the old air chamber method, we could see the water that filled the standpipe is now stagnant, which is a perfect place for bacteria growth, such as the Legionella bacteria. These air chambers, which are also known as dead legs, are being eliminated and replaced by code by engineered arresters to avoid any potential sicknesses from these bacteria. As with these devices, the water is replaced every time it is used, making it a much safer option. What's nice is that they come in a bunch of different varieties such as washing machine feeds, refrigerator feeds and many other shapes and forms. So it's easy to implement on a system when doing renovations and such. And that is how a water hammer arrestor works. I hope you guys learned something from this video and if you did, help share the knowledge by sharing this video with your friends and giving it a thumbs up. And until the next one, thanks for watching.